We are back on Morning Line. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. Nick Barris along with uh, Metro Nashville Vice Mayor Jim Shulman. Good to have him come on at what I know is a very busy time for him and everyone else in city government here. The number is 737-7587. We're also streaming live right now, Jim, on Facebook at newschannel5.com and newschannel5+. Plus. Some of the Facebook comments, and we do hear this in the media time and again with people, stop the panic and the hysteria. You know, um, it's just like the flu, been around for ages, just a higher fever, last longer, stop freaking out. Look, I'll agree with the stop freaking out and I'll agree with stop the panic as far as the hysteria some people blame the media for reporting on it and as I said my only concern is to get information to you as things develop it, could you quibble about do you have to report every single little detail that develops with the coronavirus maybe some would say it's too much and you only pick the big things you know we try to give you everything and you can decide what's important to you along those ways but um, as far as uh, the hysteria and the panic and that this virus is like the flu it's not it is different and if anything, I mean, the problem here is we don't know as much about it. I, I get so tired of people saying, well, the flu kills way more. Yeah. Well, we have vaccines for the flu. We know how they work. And, and you're right. Um, the flu does, at this point, kill way more. But, I mean, there's an understanding of it. This is different, and it's unknown. Right. And and the uh, percentage of people that die from it is higher. is higher. Right. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a more serious. Yes. Right. So we don't know. We don't have a virus. We don't have a, um, a vaccination for it. We, we don't have it. And I know they're working on that right now. But at this point, you know, it's it's the unknown. I think that's what's got everybody sure. concerned. It's got the medical people concerned. They're trying to figure all this stuff out. But the death rate is higher. It spreads very, very quickly. And I mean, look at what's happening in Europe with Italy. Look at what happened with China before. We have to be very, very careful. Right. And, and we've got people here right now. It's not as bad as the flu. Please educate yourself. We're not talking just looking exclusively at fatalities and how that stays. Right. You may say, well, that's all that matters. And that is a big deal. This is completely new and it has to be handled. We're not reacting in the world's governments and the CDC and who are not reacting this way because it's the basic flu. So get with it, Becky. So um, th let's take another phone call. We've got Mike. Mike, good morning. Hi, Mike. Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, the question I have is, what about, uh, is with all the shutdowns, what about the lower income families that can barely make ends meet? Uh, what is there in place to help to stop the spread of this virus? You mean that, meaning that because they're lower income, they're not able to do what? To get the, the medical care they need or, or in terms of maybe if they lose their job? Is that what you're th referencing? Uh, yes, losing the job part. Yeah, and, and that, again, see, that's the difficult part. With right. what the mayor announced yesterday and these restaurants and bars, that hits people economically. And what are they going to do? They, their bills are still going to come. That's right. And as I've said, I'm going to do my very best to go and take carry out. You know, if these places are crowded, I want to try to support them. What can we do for these workers? So I think the way I'm looking at it, and obviously I'm not necessarily always in the meetings with the mayor's office, but... I think they're handling this correctly because I think what has to happen first is you have to look at it from the health standpoint. Government's job is to protect the, the health and well-being of the citizens that it serves. So from the national perspective, from the state perspective, city, metropolitan, Nashville, Davidson County, first things first, we'll make sure people get through mm -hmm. this from a health standpoint. Okay. Behind that, and I think you see what's happening with um, with the House of Representatives in, in Congress on Friday night, and now the Senate's taking this thing up, We're trying to figure out a way to deal with this from an economic standpoint. Right. So I think, you know, you take the immediate steps first, which is protecting people, and then behind that, you worry about, okay, how do we handle the situations like what Mike is talking about? Because this is important. Mm -hmm. You know, again, I understand with the bars down on Broadway, I understand their concerns. Yeah, this people is, have jobs. This Maria, she's a, a delivery driver, and everyone is stocked up on their supplies, leaving with no clients for her to deliver to. Okay. I completely sympathize with her, and it's, it's hard. She doesn't have the work right now. Right. So what we have to do is go back and deal with how we figure that out, and that may be more from a national perspective. I keep an eye on the Senate today to see exactly what yeah. this bill is that they end up passing. Um, but from our standpoint, and I think you said it well, um, so what do I plan to do? Yeah, I am being very careful. I'm mm -hmm. not going out all the time. I'm staying basically at home. You know, I, I do come to work, but now I'm going to figure out if I can work from home. Um, or I can work from the council office where there's not a lot of people around. 
I'm going to be very, very careful, but I'm strategically going to try to do business with places that yeah, are open. Absolutely. That, you know, I take the necessary <coughs> precautions, but I want to keep feeding the economy if I can, but in a limited strategic way. Yeah. Oh, if right, that yeah. makes any sense. I agree. So, yeah. As I've said, you need to be responsible, maybe not go to crowded bars and, you know, I'm not going to any concerts, but I'm going out. Uh, look, I'm at work today. I'm probably going to be out reporting. I'm going to be prudent, but I'm going to go out and I'm going to spend money and I'm going to yeah. do what I can to try to support these employees that are hitting a hard time by finding a way to yeah. buy or use their services or products, you know, in a responsible manner. But I, I'm not abandoning them where I'm going to be just be, you know, just staying in my home and never leaving. Right. So and if a restaurant's open, happen. you can always take get carry out. Exactly. Sure. There's all, yeah. Let's go to Buzz next, I believe. No, we lost Buzz. We'll go next to Carlos. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hi, Carlos. Go ahead, sir. Oh, uh, yes. I was going to comment, but uh, the guy before me, Mike, had already commented on the situation, so I feel like y'all already handled that topic. So, uh, uh, there's really no point, but I want to know this right here about the law uh, of quarantine or whatever, uh, the shutdown supposedly, uh, is it just for downtown area or is it just for the whole Nashville Area. What was he in reference he, to? He the, was talking about the bars. Oh, okay, yes, okay, yeah. There was some confusion the initially. We were thinking just lower broad, but my understanding is that it's citywide for yes. the bars, and then restaurants would be asked um, to um, have 50% capacity and try to have the tables six feet apart. That's right. Yeah, that's right. It's citywide. Okay, so you're so, not discriminating. Yeah. It's just one part of town, and I shouldn't use the word discriminate, but you didn't just isolate on one part of town. It's across the board. Right. It's across the board. That's okay. right. All right. Um, one other thing, so um, when they're talking about folks with lower income, uh, one of the things that I did want to mention is that uh, the testing, okay? Mm -hmm. So I know there's all this confusion about the toolkits, uh, the, the, the kits that are going to come out right. and test. Um, it's my understanding that, look, if, if you're sick, you need to call your doctor. Sure. Um, if you don't have a, a primary care doctor, call the health department here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we certainly don't want, you know, if you've... Uh, depending on the, uh, you know, watch the news. I mean, it's that high fever, it's that cough. If you think there's a problem, then make that call because mm -hmm. we we certainly don't want you running around out with that. So if you or I, for instance, or one of our viewers right now thinks they're developing some of the symptoms that match up with coronavirus, you can make the call and testing will be available. Well, so the testing is coming. Okay. Now, so I am just like everybody else. I'm still trying to figure out exactly who's got the test. But but if you go to your regular doctor, if your doctor, can, they're going to. Yeah, yeah they have labs that can that can do this as well. What we need to do right. is get to the point where not just people that are sick. We need to start testing everyone voluntarily right. Right. and everyone like the drive through that they had I guess in South Korea or something like that where you can at least find out I would want right. to know if I'm a carrier and don't know it so I can take pains to isolate myself and not expose some senior citizen I work out at the YMCA and there's silver sneakers there right. and it terrifies me to think what if I have this virus I don't know it and I'm saying hi to them as I walk past them in the hall and I infect one of those poor individuals and they get sick because of me I couldn't live with that and so I think everyone needs to be tested well so Vanderbilt apparently is setting up these yeah. these testing sites. That's what's happening, and that's what I see happening across the country. So we're going to have more of those here. Keep an eye on us. Uh, what I would recommend is that people keep an eye on the news stations, and then as we get those things, then re report it, and then people can go check. Now, don't just get in line because mm -hmm. you just want to do it. I mean, we're going to inundate that system. Right. So I, I assume you saw the pictures of people in the airport yesterday uh, in O'Hare. Holy cow. I mean, so that seemed to make no sense because we're trying to keep people apart. And Everybody was all jam. stuck together. Yeah. So, you know, use common sense. But right. if you're sick, Call your doctor, or if you don't have a doctor, call the health Yeah, and I, Yeah, I guess I'm glad you said that. I'm not advocating yeah. if you don't feel ill to go request a test because it's not there yet. But at some point that may come, and if they were available in abundance, I would do it. Yeah. You know, I'm out and about. I have no reason at all to believe that I'm a carrier right now or infected with it. But yeah. out of an abundance of caution, because I'm around so many people as a news reporter, I would want to be careful. Well, and I would encourage people, uh, particularly older Tennesseans, they yeah. can probably do silver sneakers or at some type of exercise program in their home. Mm -hmm. And we're going to work there on are, that. There are far fewer at the Y lately, I've yeah. noticed that, and which is prudent. Let's right. go to uh, next up is Mike. Hi, Mike. Good morning. Good morning, Nick. How are you? Good. Go ahead, sir. Just a quick question. With the steps that are already being taken, are we nearing a state of martial law? 
You know, he's, people have brought this up because there were some questions about what they were doing, I know, in one small town up in New York. Yeah. And, and, and they were kind of putting in restrictions and thinking about bringing in them, which they, they didn't get to that point, but people thought that looked like the beginning of martial law. Let's define what that is first in terms of military coming in. I, I don't think we're anywhere near that point. No, no. I mean, I drove in, there were yeah. people driving around. So what happened, I think, in the in yeah, New York. I forget York. the name of the small town there yeah, where they, to, I used to know what it was. They wanted was, to contain it. Well, they contained it, so it was like a mile radius, and yeah. I think they did blockade people from yeah. leaving. Uh, and they just told everybody to hunker down for two weeks, and they were going to figure out. But there was such an immediate spread that the governor thought that was the right thing just to do. Just lock it in. So yeah. that, that was not necessarily my You didn't have soldiers walking the street with guns, but they basically shut it down so you couldn't really leave the town, which is a little scary when you think about it. But it's kind of uh, an extreme measure in a small extreme pocket measure. where there was a lot of cases. So we're not not to the point of, of you know restricting access and no. people moving around. I mean, people can still fly out of here. People can drive around, but again, New Rochelle, New York. Thank yeah, you, Jennifer. That's it. So Thank we you. do not want to get to the point where we get to that point. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, the idea is if people will do what they're supposed right. to do, use basic common sense. This thing, you know, even if you do everything, you could still get this thing. Right. And then, you know, but you want to be careful about, you know, wiping down surfaces, washing. I've washed my hands more times in the last day than mm -hmm. I think I did in the last year. Yeah. You know, so you just <laughs> keep doing, every time I do something, I wash my hands. Well, I think the folks in that town in, in New York also understood there wasn't some big, huge outcry. They were probably going to stay put anyway at the request. Yeah. It's just for the few and, and maybe just making sure they didn't get away from that well, perspective again, you, to spread it. You want to contain it. That's yeah, what I think that's, China was immediately key. trying to do and yeah. other states. So the countries that have done well with this, mm -hmm. I think, have contained it internally, yep. basically, and then tested. Yep. Uh, we're catching up, I think. We're then. working that way. Listen, we'll take a break, and uh, when we come back, our final segment, we'll take more of your calls and comments on Facebook with Metro Nashville Vice Mayor Jim Shulman right after this.